A city imbued with the spirit of excitement and a stadium enveloped by anticipation. This has all the ingredients necessary for a tasty football recipe. And both sets of players are ready to throw everything into winning the game for their fans. A mouth-watering prospect awaits. The action is live on EA TV. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason. It's Estse Paderborn, and they take on Darmstadt. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Moving the ball forward, how creative can they be? Well, disappointing end to the move. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, it's a 3 4 2 1 with two players behind the centre forward, but they need to link up as much as possible. They're going to be key to the way this system works. Otherwise, the centre forward could become isolated. Oh, Stuart, they must score! And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. Kinsombi. No danger here as he runs at them. Spot on with that tackle. Julian Justvan. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Can he convert? And what a magical save it was! Who can they pick out? And no nonsense defensive clearance. Well, back and forth in terms of possession. Julian Justvan. Could be. Nicely saved. Cleared away. Superbly read and executed. The high press was on, and the chance is on. Can he put it away? And there is the goal that gives them a well-merited lead. It had been coming. Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. Well, getting very close to the half-time interval, and it's a narrow lead for the visitors to this point. Stuart, how would you assess what we've seen? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Went in strongly, decisively. Tim Skarke. Well, no more time left. That concludes the first half here in Paderborn. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Not the pass he had in mind.
Plate. From a long way out. Easy save. Well, there you have it. Just not enough going forward from them today. They've lacked tempo, they've lacked a sense of urgency, and above all, a bit of quality. It's been very disappointing. And struggling even to just get hold of the ball here. Just can't seem to get out of their own half, and that's down to the pressure. And he's made headway. Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Platte. Moving into the advanced position. Chance to get themselves back into it. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Matthias Honzak. Tim Skarke. Justvan. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Sebastian Klaas. Failed to keep hold of it. And support available. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Ten minutes left for play. No high quality defending. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Well, there to intercept. Skarke. And Matthias Bader with it. Counter-attacking chance. And just like that, the counter-attack comes to an end. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. Now, they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. And fired from the flank into the area. Attending to his defensive chores. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And there it is, the full-time whistle here. And it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him.